Hello and a huge welcome to this video. I'm Scorpion from How to Do, and in this video, we will be learning how to make a simple hyper casual game for mobile devices, uh, and we're gonna make that from scratch. So, as you can see right now, I have a brand new scene of Unity or brand new project of Unity in which I have nothing except just this circle sprite and i'm gonna tell you how to get it and all that so nothing else just a simple scene with the main camera and a directional light so okay let's get started now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and go quickly go overview what we're gonna make today uh, and i think i should do it in paint i don't know why <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and make a circle so this is a small ball that will move up and down so everything that is in red is not in game all right it's just for you guys so it's gonna move up and down like that that is an arrow <laughs> okay and then there will be two uh, balls one will be I don't know yellow maybe so one will be yellow and the other one will be blue it is it, your choice it can be anything and the same goes for here so one will be blue like yeah blue will be over here and then yellow will be somewhere over here so two same balls are one over here one over here like yellow yellow and blue blue and what will happen is that this ball will move up and when it collides with this it's gonna change his color so his color will be changed from it can be yellow so his color will be yellow or it can be blue all right just like that so if its color is blue it should collide with the blue and if its color is yellow uh, if i can do that oh no i cannot okay so if its color is yellow then it should collide with yellow and what we are gonna do is when we tap like this is the mobile device so when we tap anywhere on the screen like tap <laughs> tap so what will happen is that the, these two guys will move this direction so the yellow will come in this in in blue space uh, blues place and blue will come over here all right and and the same goes for here so yellow will move over here and blue will move to yellow space okay like something like that i don't think so yet that you will be able to understand it right now because i'm i am not able to you know uh, explain it clearly but i think i showed you the demo in the beginning of the video i think i will put the demo in the beginning of the video so this is the uh, kind of the game that we are trying to make and it's really simple and really a fun game to play really addictive okay so the thing that we need to do is we need to make three things one is for the movement movement for the ball up and down and then the movement of these balls like left and right like this direction and then this direction right and then the last thing that we need to do is we need to change the color of the ball according to its hit so the color will be random so whenever it hits its color will be randomly changed it can be yellow it can be blue uh, randomly all right so it does not matter if it's uh, if it collides with blue it should be yellow and if it collides with yellow it should be blue no it should be random and whenever the game uh, the object collide with different color then the game will become uh, like you know fail the game over and then restart and if we collide with the same color then the score will increase like here will be the score so one and when you tap uh, when you collide with the same color the score will increase and then there will be high score over here high score and yeah do that stuff so let's see how to make it this will be the game <laughs> looks pretty messy over here but let's start making it so of course in here as you can see there are only circles circle 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 so that's why I have only one circle in my uh, unity project you can get it anywhere like you can make it in Photoshop I just did that you can make it on your own if you don't want to you can just uh, quickly get it from Google it's not a big deal so what you have to do is as you can see it's not looking pretty and it's not yeah the, the color should the, the it should be a png it should not has any it should not have any background okay so in order to do that i'm gonna go ahead and change from default to sprite 2d and ui and decrease its max size to i don't know 256 apply that and as you can see now it looks like better right so no background and only the image cool uh, and I think I will provide you with this I think the link will be in the description box below you can download it if you just cannot find it anywhere okay so as you know we are making a 2d game so in 2d games the directional light is now not required so I'm gonna delete that directional light and as you can see the background should not look like that so I'm gonna go ahead and go to main camera select 
in, instead of skybox I want it to be a solid color and now it's a really really bad color so I have to change the color to something like bright red maybe I think this one okay this one looks better yeah better and now as you can see it's a full po uh, landscape kind of a thingies but we don't want that um, we want it to be like a portrait something like this so how do you do that is by coming in here and selecting this plus sign adding your name like in my case I added portrait and then you have to enter the uh, width and height alright so I just added 480 and 800 okay and just do that and yeah there we go we have this thing going on here so now it looks like a like mobile device interface kind of a thingy over here so that is pretty cool but as you can see the camera is still in a perspective mode we want it to be 2d so how we do that is we change from perspective to orthographic and when you do that as you can see now it's a 2d kind of a thing so when we come over here and here we have a 2d camera right over here and this camera size is equal to this this thing all right so this is pretty cool okay so now let's get started okay so uh, first thing what I think I should do is I should go ahead and say right click create a 2d game object and a sprite just do that and as you can see there is a sprite in here I'm gonna set this mode to 2d just like that by clicking that and as you can see now we can see uh, the cameras boundary that is pretty cool and I'm gonna go ahead and select the sprite and set it to reset but as you can see we cannot see as you can see we cannot see this sprite game object so uh, because the sprite render sprite is there's no sprite in there so we have to just drag and drop the circle sprite in there as you can see now we are able to see this sprite but as you can see in the game view we cannot see it because the camera if I come out of the 2d mode and as you can see the camera is right inside the sprite as you can see so it should not be that case we should drag the camera a little out and now we can see the sprite pretty awesome okay so with that done I'm gonna uh, as you can see the sprite is really big so we have to make it smaller because this circle is really small uh, so so that the sprite and I'm gonna call this sprite uh, player uh, ball I guess I don't know player ball and I'm gonna make it smaller just like that this one looks better okay so the player ball is there um, let's just go ahead and create a, an empty game object and this one will be the upper uh, I'm gonna just call it upper so this upper will contain these two balls alright these two balls yeah two balls <laughs> uh, so upper will contain two, two balls so say right click 2d game object sprite and drag in this circle sprite in there and again it's really big what you think you, well, what you should do is you should select the upper one and say reset so now it's right in the center of the scene and now we can bring it up a bit just like that and then we can take this sprite and make it smaller somewhat like this I guess so this this ball should be small this one will be big yeah big. <laughs> this should be big so duplicate that and now we have two balls one I think I should set it to black there we go, there we go. cool so now as you can see we are not able to actually see the uh, empty game object so in order to see that I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and give him some gizmo so now we can see this uh, if I bring these two sprites away there's still the empty game object is there what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and take one of the sprite and bring it in here over here and take the other sprite and bring it somewhere over here so that the empty game object is right in center of the uh, in center of the two balls so that when we select the upper uh, empty game objects so the it's right in center and we can you know yeah center out is much better when you're making the minimal kind of games now I'm gonna go ahead and rename these two balls like that so there we go so as you can see in the X and Z is 0 and only the Y is has, has a value because we have just dragged it up all right cool now what I can do is I can just round it off to yeah so just let it to be three so even things or odd things or just rounded off things are much much better than the decimal points because uh, yeah it will help you in the future but again it's all up to you it doesn't matter actually it's all up to you but I like to do that okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make the same thing for the down so lower so duplicate that and call it lower and you don't have to just bring it down like that manually you can just come in here and say minus 3 
and there we go now we have even distance from here and then there all right so even distance just because of this minus so that is why i just like this rounded off figure because yeah it's not big deal it's just really simple to do that kind of thing math maths thing <laughs> okay so save that and it looks pretty cool now as you can see if i come in here so two balls are in here and two balls are like in this this direction i'm gonna just go ahead and remove this red things they're just really okay so now it looks much 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 better tap yeah <laughs> okay there we go so now it looks much better cool so now as you can see these two red balls and these two balls are in the left and these two balls are a little right but as you can see this ball is can collide with this ball and also can collide with this ball so we want to do that right now this ball cannot collide with anyone and he is gonna just pass through this this space between them so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the upper one and bring this little like that maybe and then bring this one and maybe bring it in like that so this looks cool all right okay pretty awesome i guess but uh Again, I did it manually and we don't have to do it manually. You just have to do it one for the one. I'm going to bring this one over here and see. There we go. Okay. So as you can see now, this is right in the center, just like that. Almost in the center. And now what we have to do is we have to just copy this. Copy. Go in here. Paste. Oops. Paste. And just remove this minus sign. And there we go. Now we have even, evenly distributed them. All right. Cool. I'm gonna save that and it looks pretty cool. So now what we want to do is we want to make this move up and down. Now if you are my subscriber then you will know that I use Playmaker instead of writing codes. Uh, but I'm not gonna use Playmaker uh, in this video. I'm gonna just use simple C sharp scripts to make this game and it's really easy to make it and I want you to understand the coding and all that. So it's really simple. And yeah, let's let's do the coding. Okay, so if you don't know what Playmaker is and if you want to learn how to use it and all that, I will provide you with the link and the link will be in the description box below and you can just simply download that and watch the video and see how to use Playmaker. It's really, really, really cool thing to use. So I just added these two folders. One has sprites and in there and the one has scripts and I'm going to go ahead and quickly create a C sharp script and I will call this player ball. All right, and just open it up Visual Studio. Just double click that, and it's gonna just open it up in Visual Studio. It might take some time, but just be patient. Okay, so I was saying that if you don't know what Playmaker is, then go ahead and make sure you see my previous videos. I made a whole lot of things. So while Playmaker Studio is opening up, I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I just made with Playmaker. If you are new to my channel, if you are new, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I made a whole lot of things like just go ahead, quickly open these bunch. Uh, the texture, color, there we go. Okay, so this is the graphics, so it does not blood splatter out really. It's first name maker at all. So just go ahead and come in here. So I made this sniper lead kind of a game. As you can see, it's really awesome, and I just made it without writing a single line of code and this is a whole tutorial as you can see here's a third person controller this sniper scope effect killing system all that and blood splatter system so i made this whole without uh, writing a single line of code all right and then this graphics thing so if you want to check out how to get the best graphics out of unity like this as you can see then you should check this video out it's available on my channel you can just go ahead and yeah subscribe to my channel cool okay so visual studio is now up cool as you can see when we open up visual studio and the c sharp script uh, we have these two functions so these are called start function so whenever the game starts everything written inside here will execute and update means and this is one per frame you can just compare it like per second all right so it's gonna this any uh, anything written in these two curly braces will be executed every second all right yeah uh, like that something like that cool okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make this ball move up and down right i'm gonna go ahead and remove the gizmos now because we cannot see this ball over here so we want this ball to move up and down 
so the best way to do it by adding force to it so how we do that is we say add component and a rigid body 2d there we go and yeah come in here again ping pong okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and in here we can define the variables all right 